All right, welcome back. I've got another video review today. Um, we're going to do it on the ice skins fuse, as you can see here. Here's the box for the ice skin fuse. Um, the packaging is real nice. I got this in the other day. <clears throat> Thought I would do a little quick review for you. So let's go ahead and slide it out of the package. So it's a nice little box there. It slides right out. As you see, there's the case. Let's go ahead and take it on out. Alright, there we go. There's the case itself. And of course you get some goodies in the packaging. Um, if I remember correctly, you should get, um, of course you get some of the little ice skin stickers. A little manual and a little screen cleaner. Just all kind of neat. They give you several different little stickers here. So let's go ahead and scoot all that stuff out of the way because I'm not really concerned about that stuff right now. That stuff is not what we're here to look at today. We're going to look at the case itself. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the case itself. As you see here, I have the black and silver. And it's a two-piece case. So we'll go ahead and pop it apart. Take a look at the back. It's kind of a, a matte finish on the back. It's a plastic, kind of a textured plastic. Almost feels like there's, it's like it's hard plastic that's been wrapped in silicone maybe. And then the front... As you can see, he's got this nice silver finish. It's kind of got a, a metallic reflective part here. You can kind of see here in the, the sun there, it reflects. And then it's got this clear piece at the top, and the clear piece is kind of jelly filling. In the same way with the button, it feels kind of like, kind of like jelly. Now, one of the things that I did, <clears throat> first thing is I took that screen shield out that's right here. You've probably seen a lot of those. It's actually right in there. With that screen shield on there, you lose a lot of the function of your touch screen like especially in the corners it's real hard to push things um, so as you can see here's my iPhone and I have my, my iPhone is jailbroken so you know you can like see there you could touch and it'll change from a battery to a percent and especially that part with that screen shield on you couldn't really get to those corners like to pull down your your other menus and stuff it was you lost a lot of that function there so let's go ahead and take it out of this case. This is the, the Switch Easy Vulcan. You see here that I've been using for quite a while. Been real happy with this Switch Easy Vulcan case. And I have a review on that too. If you look at my other reviews, I did a review on that as well. But we'll set that to the side because we're, really, we're not here today to look at that case. We're going to look at this Ice Skins case. Now, I've seen a lot of different ways to put this case on, but what I find is the easiest is if you actually do the front first. And I know that's not what they tell you to do but for me that works the best now what I do is I just start with the buttons first and I put it in like that you can see there it lines up now this side I just pull around the phone as you can see there you just put a little bit of pull and it'll snap right around the phone and then that actually holds the phone really well in that front piece as you can see there it's in there nice and secure and then the back what I do with it is I start on the buttons first, as you can see here. I just take the buttons and I slide them on like that, and then I kind of work my way around and snapping the case together as I go. And then the bottom, it'll snap together, and the little connector plug, just plug it in. <clears throat> oh, I had a missed call while I was doing that. So as you can see there, the buttons on the one of the many flaws of this case is the sleep button as you can see there you have to push extremely hard on that to get it to work one of the other things I don't like is after you lock it is the center button you have to really quite a bit of pressure on that there's not a lot of response on that now the side buttons for the volume there too you have to really kind of really push I mean you have to deliberately push down on those buttons really hard. As you can see there, one of the other things I really, this case for me is junk. It's, a, it's like $45 and it's just really not worth the money. As you can see here, there's, you probably can't see it in the video, but there's gaps all around where the case goes together. You can actually see the phone through these sides here. There's little gaps all the way around on this phone. For me, for the money, this case is not worth it. 
I'm going to give this case about a two out of five stars. For one, I mean, it's a nice case, and it would give you some protection. But first off, you can't use the included screen protector because you lose your functionality of your touch-through. Second, without that on there, it allows a lot of lint. As you can see, this clear plastic piece, I use this for about half a day. And you get so much lint right here from sliding it in and out of your pocket, it's just useless. And it's, the buttons are so hard to push that it it's just really makes this case junk for me. Now, if this case didn't cost so much, it wouldn't be as bad. But, I mean, you're talking it's $45. You might as well spend another 5 bucks and have an OtterBox because the OtterBox, hand down, is going to give you more protection. And this adds quite a bit of bulk to the phone. The OtterBox is not going to add much more bulk than this. And if you're going to add bulk, you might as well go all out and do the OtterBox because this, for your money, a waste of money. It's not worth it, and I would not recommend buying it. As you can see here, this bottom is exposed. You can see there on my white 3GS there, it's, it's exposed. I mean, it's not protected at all. And even here, the way it fits together, it's just not a very nice, tight fit, especially for the money. I mean, you're talking 45 bucks. You would expect a really high-quality phone, and you're just not getting a high-quality case here at all. It's just, for my money, I would stay away from it. I mean, for 20 bucks, you're much better off buying the Vulcan from Switch Easy, you know. So, for me, not worth the money. I wouldn't waste your money. Would not buy this case for my skins. It's not worth it. It's overpriced. It doesn't function very well. You know, and that's my opinion. Now, that's been my review on the iSkins Fuse for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. If you'll stay tuned, my next video coming up is going to be a Capsule Rebel M. So stay tuned for that.